Hello one and all, my name is Ryan Bruce, my friends call me Fluff, and today we are going to check out the new HDRX20 amplifier from PRS. Over the past five, six, seven, eight years, PRS has been diving deep into the world of amplifiers. They make some of my favorite amplifiers, namely the Archon Mark II, which is a sub thousand dollar behemoth of an amplifier, and today we're going to be checking out the new 20 watt version of the HDRX amplifier series from PRS. Now, before we go any further, PRS has loaned me this HDRX 20 amplifier to show you guys. However, all thoughts and opinions are mine. Now, let's talk about the HDRX series. So, the HDRX series is kind of a you know acronym for Hendrix, or not acronym. I don't know what the, the word I'm looking for is. Hendrix, this is a Hendrix approved, Hendrix authentic line of amplifiers from PRS. Now the backstory, to make a long story short, Doug Sewell and Paul Reed Smith get to go and take apart and pull the chassis and kind of poke around one of Jimmy's Marshalls. PRS has to say classic British series in their nomenclature and the marketing they got access to one of his Woodstock era marshals and they got to measure specific components and tolerances, et cetera, et cetera. And now we have the HDRX series. Now, this is the 20 watt version that I have here with me today. I like it, I like it a lot. Now this is obviously not a high gain amplifier at all, but what it is, is a British, a very, very British sounding amplifier with a couple of modern amenities that takes pedals extremely well, also has a master volume. And as an owner of two actual plexis, I, I really appreciate that part. Now let's talk about the power section for a second. The HDRX20 comes with two 5881 power tubes. I think this is a good call on PRS's part. The 5881 tubes are going to remain uh, very um, full sounding, even at lower volumes. So you don't have to absolutely you know, blast this and endanger your home pets if you wanna get that nice full sound. Now let's talk about both channels and being able to just kind of seamlessly blend them without jumpering. Normally on a plexi style amplifier, you would have to jumper both channels in order to utilize them. You don't have to do that with the HDRX20. You can blend in the treble and the normal as you see fit. I like this. I like that there's no jumpering. And I also like the additional bells and whistles, which we will get to in just a second. But this way you can just kind of dynamically move them wherever you want without having to get out, you know, a jumper cable from your pedal board or something like that.
Now let's talk about the two-way bright switch and the high mid-gain switch. The high mid-gain switch is going to add some sparkle and some crispness in the, uh, the mid-range, the upper mid-range, and the two-way bright switch is going to add some nice sparkly top end to the treble channel only, and this will give you, this is just gives you a little bit more. That's basically all it's doing. Um, I think this is a very good option as opposed to like, you know, a traditional Plexi is insanely bright. Sometimes you want that, sometimes you don't. This just gives you an additional option to switch it on and off depending on the situation that you're in. And lastly, having a master volume, I think is just, I don't know, every modern amplifier needs a master volume. You know, the thing with the, with the plexis, you know, when I'm running a plexi, I can never ever not worry about the cabinet that it is going into. I am actually worried about popping speakers in any given situation where I'm using my plexi. So this is giving me a spot on 60s British tone and uh, it's not breaking things. And when I don't break things, I am very, very happy. Uh, this retails for about 800 bucks at the time of this filming. This is awesome. It sounds very, very nice. It's versatile. It's a great pedal platform. This is not a high gain metal amplifier. However, if you are someone that likes to go on the weekend gigs and is covering like, you know, 70s rock or 80s rock or anything like that, and you have a even a small pedal board, you'd be very happy with this amplifier in my opinion, and if you ever need to service it, there's external bias points in the back. I just, you really can't beat that. I'll link down below in the description if you'd like more information. And with that, you've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.